Hello. So I've seen multiple requests now to see Shade, um, that's uh, Cypress's AC, uh, show up in the AIA. Now here's the thing. Obviously no OPI, so he can't fly infinitely, he can't attack from the sky, especially with chain guns, on a build that's technically overweight. But you know it technically can attack from the sky, and also not from places where it shouldn't be, and also have infinite energy for firing? Friggin' EO pods! So, basically give this guy a pistol, two EO pods, and he's kinda just come down to earth a little bit. Decided to go and uh, try to beat Kaiser as he always did in AC3. Uh, he was always kinda like a wasp to that guy. But yeah, if you ever did the double battles, and you ended up fighting, um, and you used Kaiser as your helper, you may have gotten really depressed and demoralized when you saw how quickly he got torn right the hell down by, uh, by Cyprus. So I guess now it's time for a little bit of revenge. So now this build had heat issues and energy issues right out of the friggin' nose, but I think after a lot of tweaking, he finally does his job right. Now, his internals are entirely different because, of course, it's a cross-generational thing, as far as I'm concerned. Um, his back guns are different for reasons I've already stated. Um, he still heats up pretty badly. Uh, at least he can recover out of it pretty well. Uh, it's just, yeah, consistent damage like he was taking there is definitely enough to rip him a new one. And most of his damage comes from his EO pods. Uh, sometimes he's a little inconsistent with them. But pretty much uh, the way these go, I figure that in many ways they're pretty similar. Uh, surprisingly, their damage is pretty similar too. But uh, if you keep moving whenever he's firing his chain guns, they can't actually track you in three. So I figure that works out pretty well for these pods, which also can't particularly track too well. All right, well, there we go. He got absolutely crushed. Now let's go ahead and try that again. Guess what? He's still going to get crushed because uh, he's almost certainly going to lose to this guy. Because Kaiser's a freaking beast. <laughs> and, you know... Maybe there's a little bit of schadenfreude going on here. Enjoying the suffering of that particular AC. <laughs> okay, post range, he should be absolutely boned here. Right, come on, Kaiser. Show him pain. Yeah, those Selenas especially just put out heat like nobody's business. It's actually funny because every now and then he'll get super aggressive with his blade. And apparently he's decided not to and has burned through all his pistol ammo already. Actually he was ripe for blading there, I don't know why he didn't. Right. It's a sound attack plan you got there. You burn yourself through all your energy and then die. Yep. Stuff a champion. Actually, he was doing what the AI always does, which is just burn himself down to nothing and then try to continue operating from there. Uh, I give him a little bit of a tendency to uh, quote-unquote walk around, which in this case just means hover and move around really fast. Uh, I mean, it helped. It's just the fact that he uh, can suddenly just burst into overheating, because, again, Kaiser. And, uh... The fact that he can overheat, the fact that he's got a high drain build on something that's nearly overweight. Well, it's not going to work out too hot, let's be honest. And there he goes again. At least he's not building up heat from just flying around, that was crazy. Buddy, use your pods. We talked about this. You see how Kaiser's murdering the crap out of you by using his pods? You should use your pods. Alright, well, you know, it'll happen. It'll certainly happen. I don't even mind. Now, just to kind of show how well he can do, though, I'm pretty sure he'll do a lot better against Fixer. Go ahead and find him wherever he is. He is not here. Where is he? I think he's in the pro squad, isn't he? Eh, that's Arcadia. You know what? Arcadia, you'll work. Go. 
go. Gal being pretty hyper defensive there. Actually stands a chance. And the Arcadius burned himself out somehow. Man, yeah, he's just going full derpy today. Oh yeah, well. At least, at least they can show that he can do stuff. Although again, because they have a tendency to burn themselves out, and also not really account for both their uh, movements cost and energy cost at the same time this kind of stuff happens. They basically burned himself into charging because he decided to launch a pod and also try to boost at the same time. Which is fine because it also kind of forces a rest for them. And with some builds you'll find that they actually shut off the boosters entirely to let them use energy weapons. There we go. Now we're using those strategies. Charging again, but still winning. Alright, yeah, now he's using that, uh, you know, his rockets to his face style that, he, that he's known for. It'll win him. It'll win him the fight. So he's gonna go headbutt through some of those pods, and then get wrecked. I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit because he's just charging still. There we go. There's actually a built-in fast-forward feature, which is pretty funny to use sometimes. Alright, so then now that one's gone. And that was a dang near magical friggin' uh, pod switch there, and it launched one out of one, two out of the other near instantly. one less hit he could have won it, but at least he survived the fight. So, there you go. Um, I think it's about as reasonable of a remake for Shade as it's gonna happen. Probably still go back and tweak around with this guy a little bit. So, yeah, all his tuning is uh, pretty much weight and cooling, because he's, like, exactly on the line for weight. He's, <laughs> he's one pound off uh, from being overweight. Um... So pretty much nothing left tuning-wise. As far as his, his uh, parts go... It's something a little bit like this. Just gonna think of it. This is the first time somebody can ever be made overweight from an FCS? Yes. FC. Yes? Well, okay, I'll just go ahead and slap myself for that one. Um, uh, now yeah, he's got... His uh, main internals are formula for an exclusive parts, uh, just basically meant to be more for output. I had him using this originally, but he just burned himself into into uh, the thing even faster. Uh, with this one, at least both uh, when he was firing his pods and boosting, he didn't you know go from a full bar to charging in a few seconds. But uh, yeah, I was considering giving him the Jirens or something, but given that he needs pretty much all of his stuff to uh, avoid um, avoid missiles. This is kind of the way it had to be. So yeah, uh, he has the missile avoidance thing, he's got uh, firing consumption, reload time, and attack power. Uh, got the, uh, the blade upgrade, because he always seems to do crazy damage with that thing, and then both the damage downs. So, there you go, in case you were wondering. Uh, in case you wanted to make your own. And uh, yeah, let me know if uh, you want to see this guy fight some stuff, and I'll see if I can come up with anything else. Um, I tried giving him the regular orbit pods, but then he just kind of looked dorky. Eh. Might just leave him with one and give him a radar and maybe go with something like that. 
But I'll test more with that down the line. Anyway, have a good day.